e te tii e te tā tēnā koutou katoa whakatau mai rā ki tēnei whakapāhotanga. Ki whea ki te raki pai whenua Burt Kinhead War Memorial Reserve. We're here celebrating ARL SAS Fox Memorial Rugby League here where we have the North Coast Tigers taking on the Manuko Magpies. This is the final round of the competition, the preliminary format. I'm joined by a stalwart of, of New Zealand Māori Rugby League. It's a pleasure to be calling alongside you, Rusty. Te narawatu, koe. Yeah, kia ora, hira, alu, and, uh, great to be here today, brother. I know my uh, piki mai kaki mai tole a whānau out there. Looking forward to a good matchup today between the Magpies and the Tigers. Coming off a great win last week. One of the upset wins of the year, I suppose. This team here, this proud Manuko Magpies team, knocked over one of the heavy hitters of the Appliance Shed Fox Memorial in many years. That's the Mount Albert Lions. So I just want to acknowledge the brothers here, a strong brotherhood. Most of the boys have come from the Senior A's, the 2018 team. And in 2017, the under-20s won that competition. Here's some uh, boys getting out in battle for the Manuko Magpies this afternoon. Keep an eye out for their winger, John. They're both wingers. Masoe, obviously in the spine, we've got Chu Fohe. And at the back, we've got Lu Chan. And locking for the Monaco Magpies, Tuakanatena, the John Fano, Neidati Mihi, uh, Kiakuto. Coached by Tamore Nati, he's speaking with Rusty Tamore. Okay, Tamore, you're here, here at the North Coast Book, Birkenhead uh, Domain today. So, what is it going to take for you guys here to get over the line against North Coast? Uh, just our defence will help us get to where we need, or where we need to be to get good ball, so we can head down to our green zone and play from there. Yeah, not too sure how they go, but we just wait for the first couple of sets and then we'll make our way there. You guys are heading into the uh, competition for the Fox Memorial next year. What are you going to do today to start preparing for that? Uh, we just got to do what we do best and just follow what our house and um, hooker tells us what to do and we'll just make our way down to the field with that. Okay, and just to finish it off today, you know, like you've had a really good run and what do you think has been the big change for Monaco coming into this year? I'm not quite too sure, but it's just the bond the boys have. That's where we are today. It's just the bond we have at training and game day. Awesome. Wish you all the best, Tamori. Thank you very much. Jeez. I suppose he lets his actions speak on the field there, Rusty. It's not very common having a player coach uh, jamming Big Mihi to Tamori Nati and his mahi for the Monaco Magpies. Look no further, further e huama, ki te haika o tēnei kapa o te rakipai Kevin Locke. Ko hoki mai i ngā whenua wiwi. He's back from France. Playing for one of his junior clubs. Keep an eye out for him this afternoon. Also, Morgan Cook at the standoff position. We've got Tafiri Matea Heremaya in the hooking role. And the bear, Taylor Daniels. Rusty caught up with assistant coach Cody Walker. Uh, kia ora, Cody. Here at uh, North Coast home ground today. Big match today, last round, Robin. Must win, must win today. So what's the maths look like for you guys? Oh, I think it's a... Some, the basic sum that we just got to win. Um, I mean, we've put ourselves in this position and uh, we've got an opportunity to kind of uh, sneak into that, that sixth spot. But um, if we get the result, then, then we're one step closer. Yeah, and also, too, if you're looking at getting the result today, who can we look to in your team to lead you guys to victory? Yeah, we've had a good addition. Um, Kevin Locke just came back into the country on Monday, so um, he'll jump at the back with us uh, for us today. Uh, Boys like the engine room, like Taylor Daniels, uh, Trent Shumkel, our big boys, they've been going forward in the last couple of weeks. So um, we want to pro probably play a little bit more footy off the back of them. And um, that will probably give us a good good start to the, or get the result that we want. Well, thanks for your time today, Kate, and all the best of luck. Kia ora, brother. Ko te reo tērā o Cody Walker, rāua ko Rusty Bristow. What a cool team, what a nice uh, makeup of a senior leadership team there. We've got Cody Walker, assistant coaching alongside Dylan Moses. And I'd also like to acknowledge David Barner, who's Mawiwi at the moment with the COVID. No doubt he's tuning into our stream. Big ups to you, David, and, and your efforts for the North Coast Tigers uh, this year. Daniel Caddy in the middle alongside Grant Smith and Ryan Doherty. Obviously a proud whānau, the, the Caddy whānau. Uh, Alan Caddy, also who's very present in today's game. Um, we're looking forward to an awesome match out here in the North, in the North Shore. We've got beautiful conditions. Unfortunately, our junior um, grades and our mods got rained out yesterday. However, today, the conditions are perfect here for some round nine action of the SAS Fox Memorial. Uh, it certainly is. After a couple of weeks of rain, it's uh, so good to see the blue sky and the sun shining in here down on the uh, Fox Memorial Rugby League today. And uh, very excited to see this matchup today. 
It's been a proud time being a, uh, a supporter of rugby league and sports in general with the All Blacks and the Māori All Blacks with our New Zealand Kiwis taking on Tonga, our Kiwi Ferns sorting Tonga out as well, and the uh, State of Origin. I know you wear your heart on your sleeve there with the Maroons there, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, it's Rusty, looking, but we're it's sitting looking, on the other side of the fence today. Yeah, mate, it's looking real tough for us this, uh, this uh, coming uh, game next week, but uh, it's all about the North Coast Tigers and the Monaco Mag- Magpies today. So looking forward to this big matchup here today. That's right. It seems a little bit different here with the um, typical railway grandstand like that of Carlow Park. Not uh, blessing the grounds today. They've hopefully got some funding sorted with the Birkenhead uh, Cricket Club for some development plans and kidding this place out. But kwa tai mai te tini me te mano i tēnei rā ki te tautoko i tēnei kemu. The crowds out, most of them I suspect have come over the bridge from the south. The Monaco Magpies have a huge following. However, here's this man here, Kevin Locke. He's, he's done a lot for, for, for North Coast over the years, and he's represented uh, this club on, on the professional stage. What do you like so much about Kevin Locke, uh, Rusty? Oh, mate, he's a uh, natural talent. It always has been, and I remember being, uh, being here present, uh, watching him play for the North, uh, North Harbour uh, Lion, Lion, Cup, Lion Red Cup, the, the time Bartercard Cup, and, uh, and I saw uh, uh, Norton, Graham Norton uh, contacting the Kiwi coach to let him know, mate, you got to get this kid into the Kiwis. And uh, as they say, the rest is history. And uh, off he went to the Kiwis and the Warriors and uh, and his professional career, but uh, a talent from a young age. And uh, so good to see him coming back to his junior club and uh, giving back to his community. And everything he touches turns to gold because he's just come back from France and they've took out the Elite One competition over there as well. So um, a big mihi to, to, to Nobby and, and, and Kevin Locke and, and his whanau for coming back in. And, and repping his hood this afternoon. We're underway. Kick off. Round nine of the SAS Appliance at Fox Memorial. Received deep on the Mag- Magpies uh, try line. From the back fence, they say, hit up number one. Yeah, nice run there too from uh, Harriman. Nice and solid, but uh, equally good defence there with four men in on that tackle there. And uh, no doubt the opening, uh, opening uh, set will set the standard for the rest of the game. It's very important that both teams start off well, complete their sit, sets, get to their kicks um, to ensure that they have some decent shape for the remainder of the game. Here's the Magpies with the footy now. Prop forward goes William Tedet. Yeah, nice run out of dummy half there by Tofuhi as well. He uh, looks very, very quick out of dummy half. So definitely one to watch as well as uh, talking to his coach, uh, Tamuri uh, Nati earlier. Uh, definitely one of the ones that the team follows around uh, the Seven Samuel Nutty and the nine being their two lead players in regards to their their dummy half in their uh, in their um, leading half. Is the man you just spoke about there, Desmond Tufohe, getting to the kick out of dummy half? I think Mr. Caddy missed a little bubble there. However, completed set. Coach Mori would be very stoked. Yeah, good field position there. Got inside the twenty with that deep kick there. Nice, nice uh, set to start the match off for Monaco. Getting to their kick and a nice chase up there as well. Need to show up with some big numbers in these tackles now. Slow down that uh, momentum of the attacking side now. Now, just to let you know that the this is the final round of the preliminary competition, I suppose. Um, the analogy, I suppose, to, to understand the dynamics of finals footy is that of the NBA conference with the East and West section. So, top six teams stay alive. The bottoms, kakite mo tēnei tau. We'll come back to that. We'll just focus on the action here on the short side. Yeah, Northcote here with the turnover going down that left edge. Forward pass. Yes, it was. Unfortunately, but that looked quite quite slick too. Now some nice uh, some nice shift on, shifting on that left edge. You're, you're probably North- the better man to unpack uh, the format of this finals footy in the Fox Memorial than me. Rusty, you have a crack. Yeah, so we've had uh, the qualifying uh, rounds now. Uh, two, 20 teams divided into two competitions. 10, or 19 rather, 10 and 9. Uh, we have 10 in this competition here. We have a buy in the other section. So the uh, top six from each section will go through now to the Premiership, the Fox Memorial Premiership. They'll play 11 rounds, and then they'll play a, a, a top four at the end of those 11 rounds. So the gun teams within this uh, section to look for out for, obviously, the Howard Hornets and the Mount Albert Lions. Uh, point Shev Pirates point also. Is at, at the top, yeah. And, uh, and, uh, yeah, and uh, ironically as well, uh, after that uh, victory last week, uh, Monaco took third place off... Uh, off Mount Albert as well, so they've uh, oh, gone into third place, I should say, behind the Hornets and uh, ahead of uh, Mount Albert on percentage after that, uh, yeah, that, uh, that, that awesome victory at, um, at Mon- uh, Mount Albert last week. A very thankful piggyback in the red zone given to the Monaco Magpies. 
spoke to Robert Harris earlier on prior to the game and uh, he's been really impressed with the brotherhood, the whanaungatanga of this proud Manukau Magpies club. Most of the boys live together, work together, and play footy together, go out to battle with one another. So that's, that's the type of uh, morale, I suppose, you'd like to for a club team to have. And certainly they've got the community behind them this year as well. I went out earlier to watch their first game of the year against Manurea and the Oh, mate, the, pa- the parking was uh, non-existent. It was just uh, all the streets around the club were full, full of cars parked up and a huge crowd, at least two or 3,000. And so you've just got to take your hats off to what these boys are doing and creating that vibe and that energy around their club. Tackle three here to the open side they go. Right here needs good distribution of the football. Cutting back on the inside is Kare Kake. Halomotu, Halomotu. Five metres out, ten metres out, the Monaco Magpies. Centre field. Good ball position here. Samuel Nassi with the there. footy back door to Lu Chan. Lu Chan smothered on the fifth and final. Northcote can be happy with the uh, into that set. Yeah, another completed set for Monaco there, down deep in the opposition's half. So, uh, again, uh, they'll be happy with their consistency at the moment, completing their set and getting good yardage up the field. Just a matter of being uh, consistent with that effort. Ki te rā tu taha nei nei e huamā, North Coast Tigers. Um, Cody Walker was kind enough to share the fact that this is a bit of a rebuild phase, a three-year plan, uh, trying to reconnect the community to the North Coast Tigers. Boys have come here with their hands up rather than their hands out. Yeah, well, you've got to love that, Kaupapa. Great kick there as well. And that'll be a 40-20. It's Kevin Locke there sitting in the pocket with the wind behind his back. Drives it from his own 30, 35. Here's a, a look once more at the beautiful 40-20 kick of Kevin Locke. Yeah. So got a slight tailwind behind him there, so made good use of it on that occasion there and uh, finding great yards and uh, putting him in a good ball position again once again. Up on the 20-metre line now, playing the ball. That's the first. Great field position here for the Tigers. Hedemeyer distributes a short ball to 13 here, Haven Tepania. Daniel Caddy's found a Hihamane, a penalty in the fence. Te Ahuanea to Hapana, offside. Repeats it here. Kevin Locke hands the footy off to Robert Topo. Good carrier. Good aggression, Robert Topo. Off and on. Kevin Locke, once again to Haven, Tepania. Season campaigner of the North Coat Tigers. Head him up. Locke. Another short ball to D. Brown. Good scrambling defence from the Magpies on this occasion as well. They're looking good on their try line. To the open side they go. Cook hands it off to their centre three-quarter and James Waterson. Simple hands play there. Must yeah. have had an overlap on that left side there, Rusty. Yeah, apologies to the uh, Magpie supporters there as soon as the commentators curse there. Just give them a wrap for their, for their try-line defence. And then, uh, yeah, sure enough, straight after I said that, uh, 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 across the line goes the Tigers and a nice little shift out to the left edge. New centre coming in there into a nice big hole and going across untouched. What we're seeing, Rusty, is Kevin Locke playing more of a sort of first receiver role. Yeah. Usually as a, as a fullback, you're, you're running those back doors. You're, you're the sweeper. You're the link. Yeah. However, in the bulk of that set, he was playing first receiver. Yeah, and then just at the, and, and then in the last play, that uh, Xavier Rice there just with that nice back door play. So it was a nice, for, nice finish there for Northcote to open the account today. Obviously, Northcote with a lot more to play for today. Uh, Monaco is already, already through, regardless of the result today. So, a lot more on the line for the Tigers. So, uh, I, I'd like to see, uh, I guess we'll see a lot more passion from them from them today as well. And obviously, uh, Monaco backing up after a huge win against Mount Albert last week and a, and a bit of a surprise victory for them as well. No one really expected that or saw that coming. So, again, it's uh, big wraps to what they've been doing out at the Monaco at, at Moyle Park this year. Not the easiest of kicks to start the campaign for the North Coast Tigers right from the sideline. Wind's slightly behind him. It's quite shifty, though. It's a huge kick, though. 
yeah, but just uh, didn't didn't come around to the uh, to the left. I'd also like to take my hat off to the coaching team of this North Coke Tigers. It's awesome to see the succession, the sustainability, I suppose, of of coaching with Dylan Moses, with Cody Walker and David Barner, all semi-professional players, had some taste of professional rugby league around the around the park, and so. Um, Thanks to the boys coming in and, and helping the North Coast Tigers this season on a rebuild phase. Yeah, and uh, Cody Walker and David Barner both bring a lot of experience back to the club as well. Both uh, premier players and uh, Cody brings a lot of success from his time at Mount Albert as well and some of his learnings from the Ackland Fano and some of that coaching uh, expertise that he brings into the uh, North Coast Tigers uh, coaching staff this year. Uh, well, the most important thing after trying to... Uh, scored is to get to a kick. Let's see if the North Coast Tigers can do so this afternoon. Lock. Trent Trump call here with the footy. So no doubt so we'll be looking. We'll be looking at uh, Lock to do another 40-20. He called it. Let's see if the wingers and the fullbacks are alert this time round. Yeah, the winger got back and covered that. Nice work. That's about a pop of back in. Does Coronado John strong defence from the North Coast Tigers? Did well to hang on to it. They got locked and dropped on the ball. Nice ball security in their tackle, but uh, some nice defence from the Tigers at the moment here. A bit of passion, certainly a bit of energy, up today. Yeah, absolutely. Sure. Just to let you know, the Monaco Magpies were probably hot favourites um, this afternoon. However, the home team started very strong. Yeah, Monaco coming in uh, to today's fixture in third position in the table. And the Tigers in seventh, and uh, it's the top six that go through to the Premiership next week. So, so much more on the line for the Tigers. Daniel Caddy there blowing it up. Another relieving penalty. Samuel Nutsi will try and find the touched line and gain an extra 20 to 30 metres. Yeah, Samuel, Samuel Nutty's the, uh, the standout player for the Monaco Magpies. Let me just look at the replay of that there and Northcote stealing the ball there with two in the tackle. But Samuel's their uh, New Zealand Reserves player in 2020 and then last year got the uh, the Championship Player of the Year. So the uh, the standout player for the Magpies in the last two years. The number seven for the Magpies. Samuel Nutter. Right there by Christian Harriman. Passes it off to Ito John. 20 metres out. Here come the Monaco Magpies with their response. To the open side, they go back to, to the fullback here, Lu Chan. Lu Chan hands it off to Tamore Nati with the little goosey and gooses his way into touch. Yeah, it looked like he just backed off that run a little bit there. He just needed to just get, get, get a bit more uh, of a leg drive in there and a bit more leg speed, I think. So well done to the North Coast defence, though. They uh, certainly uh, repelled that and took him into touch. So the rusty, the coach wouldn't be happy with that. Mind yeah, that's he right. is the coach. Yeah, <laughs> so he's certainly not happy with himself. <laughs> all right, four points all round nine of the SAS Fox Memorial here at Burke Hendon Birkenhead War Memorial. Yeah, I guess the big part of the Monaco success over the last two years is the fact that they came out of the 2000 under 17s and uh, under 20s competition with that which they won. And this side is still, uh, the nucleus of the side is made up of that team alongside the senior A's from that same year as well. And uh, as Tamori mentioned, they've got a really strong bond. They're like a family. And he said that that's their strength. So it's uh, doing them a, a really good job. There's uh, Daniel Caddy spots a North, North Coat knock on. Oh, nice bit of luck there for the Monaco Magpies. Ooh, that was a bit unlucky there, Northcote. Got a soft spot for the Monaco Magpies. My great-grandfather, Puti Tipene Watane, jammed with them back in the days. Steve Watane. Also Nick the Greek. Dean yeah. Bell. Clayton Friend. Beautiful names coming out of the Monaco Magpies yeah. uh, squad. The ref of Fano. Very synonymous with their club and still are to this day. Here they are, the Monaco Magpies with the footy now. Turns it back on to Tufohe. Oh, yeah, two again, players stealing the, the ball. Yeah. The penalty count is growing for the Monaco Magpies. I suppose the discipline of the North Coast Tigers 
David Barner wouldn't be happy sitting in his isolation chair with his bell ringing for supplies. <laughs> He's probably on the phone there to, uh, trying to give some instructions to Cody Walker, I'd imagine. Harriman with the footy now. Sizable lad takes a few people to put him down. Mm, two metres short there. Two forehead turns it back on the inside. Little set move play with William Tede. Held up just metres out. Oh, they better be careful. It could be a yellow card coming here. Might have to have a little word to him. Successive penalties. Three of three of a kind there. Let's see if the position can be turned into points for the Monaco Magpies. Samuel Nasi shows good footwork and upper body strength. Yeah, great Gets tackle. Territory on his back. Excuse me, the defender. Nasi plays the ball now. Player, coach, captain, tackled convincingly. That's Nutty. Center field, the Monaco Magpies. Taylor Daniels in the middle there. Defending strongly with Hedemeyer. Right side they go, Nutty, show and go. Gets tackled and gets back up again. Oh, Kevin Locke gets the steal that time. Here we go. Four in a row. What, what, what's uh, Daniel Caddy going to do here? I think the captain is due for some brave conversations with the referee there, Mr. Caddy. Looking handsome as ever, does Daniel Caddy. <laughs> okay, this is the proverbial last warning going here. Having a word there with Tanya Daniels, also known as the Bear, been playing footy in Runaway Bay in the GC. You'd, you'd think so, um, Rusty, that the next penalty would be yeah, a That's offense. right, it's got to be. I'm sure that that's what that conversation was. So they better be on their best behaviour now. Christian Harriman. Nice ball. Passes off to Yuzhan John with the footy now. In prime position here, the Monaco Magpies to get their campaign underway. Little show and go out of dummy half. Knock on. And a loose carry. Great work from the Tigers there. Three sets back to back on their try line. Bit of white line fever, I suppose, here for the prop forward. Excuse me, from the hook out of dummy half there. That's Desmond Tufohe. Great resilience in goal line D from the North Coast Tigers. Certainly was. A marker was onto, onto his job there. So again, Monaco in here going to look to try and D up here and try and force an error. North Coast be looking to get some yardage and get... Uh, Kevin Locke into a good kicking position here. As you can see, the, the breeze in those trees up there, it's a, it's a little bit of a nice little tailwind for the Tigers at, in this stage, so they need to try and make, take advantage of that wind. Rusty's got the uh, honour to coach the Cook Island women's team in the 2022 Rugby League World Cup over there in the UK. Yeah, You're that's in the exciting. pool of death, aren't you there, Rusty? Uh, yeah, pool of death got world number one first and world number two second, so it doesn't get any harder. I want to say to our girls in Australia that uh, the expectations on our opposition, so we've got uh, nothing to lose but everything to gain. So we'll be looking to go there in uh, very best possible condition and give it our very best shot. I wish you well. Teorana Meitaki, thank you for uh, supporting the Cook Island Rugby League uh, Kopapa And the Monaco Magpies are full of Cook Islanders, Tongan, Samoans, Māori, a beautiful fruit salad. Uh, they certainly have. They're probably one of the, uh, the strongest Cook Island lineups in Auckland Rugby League too. Very strong Cook Island community around Mangere and uh, around the Ma Monaco League Club in particular. So, uh, yeah, wishing them all the best today. North Coast Tigers here with the footy. That's a strong carry from Robert Topo. 30 metres out. 10 in from touch. To the short side, they stack. Nalu to Ngamalu. Bit of a loose carry. Not once, but twice. Is there a penalty? Count would have to be ten to one or ten to two or something like that. Well, I, I thought the next, the next, the next steal uh, would be a, would be a, a sin bin, but 
Daniel Kelly's just given the penalty. So I see uh, Tamuri's or uh, uh, Samuel Nutty's having the conversation as well, just asking the quest question. Also in the news that the Indigenous All Stars are coming to Tiarawawaka. Te Roto Rua Nui a Kahu Mata Moi Moi next year. Yeah, it's going to be another exciting match, and I know we're going to pack out that stadium, Roto Rua International Stadium, be packed out. So definitely uh, excited to see that uh, NRL uh, fixture coming to New Zealand as, as promised by the NRL. I was listening to Tony Kemp on the radio the other day and he was bagging the fact that the Indigenous All-Stars are coming over here to Rotorua because besides this one-off sort of uh, campaign, what are they doing to support our New Zealand Rugby League? However, back to the action. Yeah, Northgate there, just a little, little uh, knock on coming out of the red zone. So they are there. Coach Cody Walker won't be too happy with that either. They've just got to really get some consistency about their completion rates here. But uh, Monaco will be very thankful for the opportunity and good ball. Center field scrum. Daniel Kelly's having a good chat to both front rowers. Oh, it's a Northgate feed. My apologies. The there open side, they go. Northcote with the footy now. This is Martin Watson, ex rugby convert, playing the game we love today. Northcote Tigers here with the footy. That was Team Nihil. Halfway, just over the halfway line, centre field. Hit him at dummy half. Feeds the ball off to Xavier Rice. Xavier Rice finds Nalu. Rice again with the footy. He's got the left boot. He's done really well with that kick. Picked up strongly by James Waterson. Good defence. Good scramble defence from the Monaco Magpies. Yeah, just losing control on the sideline there. Good defense from Monaco as well. But, um, what's, the, what's the delicacy like, Rusty, having a left footer on oh, the left-hand edge? Oh, absolutely, man. It's exactly what you want. But you would uh, expect that um, that left footer to, to get back and kicking back into the post and back into the center of the field as well. But uh, on that occasion there, just didn't get it, to the, get it to his foot. Losing control on that left wing. You see more commonly in the NRL nowadays with the big spiral bomb up and under that the fullbacks struggle to take. Players yeah, like Matty Burden, Cam Munster. Yeah. But also, too, those, um, those beautiful uh, uh, centre field kicks from our wingers going down the edges as well. Uh, you know, Cobo, Cobo putting that one in the uh, first state of origin as well. Talakai putting one in for, for his uh, fullback as well. And uh, yeah, there's some, there's some real good uh, exponents of that uh, particular skill as well with the, with the centre field kick. Uh, Addo Carr's another one. Some oh, of them even push. tend to sort of uh, kick for the for the man. You yeah. Know? Comedy of errors laced lately in this fix, round nine fixture of the SAS Fox Memorial. Slight hint of a forward pass there. Yes. Just a bit uh, a bit casual at dummy half there. Just needed a bit more urgency there. Needed to clear, pass the ball straight from the ground rather than pick it up and pass it. That, that split second timing cost them the forward pass on that occasion. And uh, centre field scrum now for Northcote on halfway. On the 40, I should say. Oh, a big warm welcome to those that have tuned in to the live stream of the RRL SAS Fox Memorial. I'd like to thank Safety First Removers, John Kerr, for his support. Northcote Tigers with the footy now. Twenty out. D Brown promoted to the top side this year. Beach Haven hard. He's hitting me up from the hill. Back to order, Kevin Locke. Kevin Locke shifts it to Cook. Touch to the winger there on the intercept attempt. Good scramble defence by the Magpies here. There's some nice play by the North Coast Tigers. There's nice shift down that left edge couple of front door back door option plays picking up the back door on both occasions the double block as we see every nrl club does so nice to see our local boys uh, emulating the uh, professionals some solid uh, back play 
by a follow with the Carlo Park coat hanging over the top. <laughs> Just what we like to see. Classic. Lock. Here's Trent Schomko. He's got size that just like that of Jesse Bromwich. Prime position. Golden position. Here's Kevin Locke. Yeah. Hitting and spinning. Finds himself under the post. Four more points for the North Coast Tigers. But what's the call here from Daniel Kelly? It's like a penalty. Is he calling a double movement? We'll have a look at the replay very shortly. From our man with the hot hands, Chucky. On the ones and twos. Here's another look, Rusty, you call it through. Yeah, just looking at him going to his life. Left hand, then he spin turns. He's Elbow the... down. Yeah, we can't actually see if there's a second movement on that particular angle. Just looking at this uh, second angle here. He's going to his left, then spin turn. Well, the referee was on, a, on, on right on the spot there, but it, it looked okay from here, but referee spotted a second. Like he's lost the ball. So goal line drop. Uh, penalty, sorry. Must be a bit of a lift, Rusty, to yeah, have... Yeah, be a second movement. To have Kevin Locke back. I mean, the North Coast Tigers have struggled for the, uh, for, for the most part of the season, but what would having Kevin Locke back in the squad playing alongside him do to lift... The Modi, I suppose, of this North Coast. Oh, exactly. I mean, yeah, the, he lifts the spirit because of his experience, the calmness that he brings to the side, the direction, and just giving them, giving them their confidence. Having a player of their caliber in the side lifts the other players alongside him as well. So, a huge boost for the North Coast Tigers as we see a breakout right up the middle. To Fohe, the nine. Oh, that's a great run there. Nice 60 meter carry. The break from dummy half. Taonga Arama with the footy now. This has to be a Simbin. But I don't think oh. it's coming. That was a great break, Rusty, from yes. Tufohe. Us are talking up Kevin Locke. He's just another player out on the park. The Monaco Magpies are treating him as. Mepena Katika. Here they go again. Here's Purotu with the carry. Oh, head high. It's got to be a Simbin. Here we go. It's Tay Neho in jersey number 12. Taylor Daniels in 16. Yeah. Having another call. Oh. Riddle, riddle. That's, the, that's the last warning, I think. So Monaco here again. Piggyback after piggyback, can they finally capitalise? That's right. No use getting all these penalties, this territory and field position and not being able to convert. I think what's tending to happen is a bit of white line fever. We're getting people in the dummy half that shouldn't be there. A bit of shake now from the Monaco Magpies. For Lau. This is the footy off to... Tare Holamotu. Makafagamua, little knock-on called from the touchy there. Once again, the Monaco Magpies rusty, not able to capitalise. Yeah, like you said, I think there's a bit of white line fever there. They're not using their plays there and uh, not shifting it as they, as they usually do. And uh, at the moment, they're just not being able to crack their Northcote defensive line as well. And Northcote's just showing some real, real energy and passion off their, uh, off their try line. And the prop going right from the middle straight across to the left edge to make their tackle as well. Here we see the awesome break from the Monaco Magpies. Off his left foot, does Desmond Tufohe. Shows great speed. Is he going all the way? Kevin Locke comes around and gets shrugged off. <laughs> and then the boys stacks on. Shalko. Great work. There's this little knock on here. There. Yeah, Pushed right there. out from an elbow. Unfortunate. Well, it's, it's their own fault there. They had prime prime opportunity there, but um, failed to capitalise there. So, no doubt the uh, the coach the coach will be having a few words to say to the boys at half time about their performance so far. With 14 minutes left in the first half, and the uh, Magpies yet to cross the line. 
as Nalu Tungamala with the footy centre field they go. <laughs> Great effects here at Birkenhead Memorial. Monaco with the one on one steal. Taula Arama plays the footy. Topora Purotu with the Poro Inayani. Poronato John, excuse me. One out stuff from the Monaco Magpies earlier on in the set. Be nice to see a bit more direction as Nutty straightens up the play. Yeah, those Monaco outside backs need to hit the holes. They're running straight into the defenders at the moment. They need to run a bit smarter lines. Dana Alini comes on as replacement hooker. To the boot it goes of Raven from the upper four. Not played that. Fifth and final. It's a handover. Time back on here at the North Coat, home of the Tigers. Just over 12 minutes to go here in this round nine fixture. Four points to nil, the home side. Up against a red-hot Monaco Magpies outfit that hasn't really shown that form of late. Yeah, they've looked a little bit flat when they've been up in good ball position there and they've uh, showed too much white line fever rather than uh, using the plays that have got them here. Again, Kevin with that big kick. But the winger, well positioned. A nice strong carry coming back to the centre field here. Off the left foot. That's Jacob Masoy. Kenny's calling a no-arms shoulder barge. Be awesome to see another look at that. What's also pleasing, Rusty, is these wingers identifying that when Kevin Locke's got the football in his own half, yeah, he's, he's gonna he's gonna drive it downtown. Oh, and it's working for them as well. They're getting into good ball a lot more um, a lot more than um, Magpies are. Magpies are relying on penalties at the moment, but they need to rely on the on the back play that's got them here. By a follow. Strong carry. His karekake halom holamotu. Another good run. Yeah, he's been strong in the first half. Some nice carries. Aleni with the footy. Taunga. Wide ball, there you go. Flick back on the inside. Mile forward, says Mr. Caddy. Yeah, well, that's, that's a, bit, a bit of a glimpse of what, what we've seen from uh, Monaco uh, during the season so far. But unfortunately, there, their pass drifted forward from uh, Samuel Nutty. They had plenty of numbers there, Rusty. Maybe a smarter option than the huge... Harbour Bridge face ball. Was that was the, the hand? the pass. Yeah, the hands. Draw pass. Three v two. Oh, it's a classic, mate. And it's uh, just such an effective move when executed correctly. Sometimes we overthink the situation, and uh, when uh, when the simplest the simplest is the simplest solution is the best. Got an injury here. Seen a field. Oh, I would just like to. Thank the uh, linesmen, the ball boys, the tuck shop, the club for putting it on here this afternoon. And also the ARL in general. It's been a while, 2019 with COVID uh, disruptions. It's pleasing to have grassroots footy, rugby league, back on the table. Well, it's pleasing to see some of our ex-premier ex, uh, players giving back to the game there in the staff for Monaco. Uh, Tristan Waipodi and uh, Sima Matora there. Awesome to see the players of their calibre again giving back to their community. So well, well done, gentlemen. Great to see you guys out there. I second that, Rusty. It's also evident in the North Coast Tigers makeup. 4 0 here. Hasn't been a high scoring half. They've been handling the ball over to one another for the bulk of the first half. Yeah, both sides there are uh, showing a lot of passion with their defense. Big numbers in the tackle, good line speed, lots of aggression. Yeah, certainly uh, making uh, making each other really work for it. Morgan Cook with the feed now. 
proud stalwart Rangatira Kaifa, the height of the club over 100 games has Morgs. He's a class unit. Just hasn't had the opportunity for, for him to connect with his back line yet. James Tonga with a big tackle on Trent Trumpel. The unders line behind the ruck. The props are marching in. Here's Trumpel once again with a second touch. Back to Glock. Been impressed with this left centre, James Watterson. He's got his hands on the footy quite a lot this first half. He yeah, scored that nice first try as well. And Monaco backtracking here. Yep, Lock puts up their boards. Went backwards, the call. Sometimes some of those. Uh, wayward up and unders that go nowhere on the fifth you tend to just <laughs> leave it and see what happens well Motu's been very strong on his carries too in this first half he's been very good for Monaco playing at right centre today been very very good with his carries today he'd have, he'd have some metres he'd be close to 100 metres so far at least EJ John with the footy now EJ John one of two sets of brothers in the uh, Magpies today his brother's on the left wing Turn back on the inside centre field, Magpies. And uh, Samuel Nutty and uh, the coach Tamori Nutty as well. I don't know how many referees are out there at the moment. They're uh, rusty. <laughs> yeah. Caddy's getting an earful. Big run out of dummy half is Tonga Arama. Yeah, he seems to be getting a, a, bit, a little bit too much advice from the players today. Turn back on the inside. Beautiful hands, but a hot potato. Crossfield kick from the Monaco Magpies. By Raven Tongiao for four. Caught in and diffused well by the Tigers. Yeah, I think it was a good idea, but just not, not, not executed to perfection there. Just kicked it straight to the North Coast defender rather than putting it into space. So although the, uh, the idea was right, the execution wasn't quite, quite as uh, accurate as you, you would like. Waterson once again with a strong carry. This is Hedemaya out of dummy half. And there it is, Northcote there in a penalty. Monaco just holding on too long. Holding him down, was he rust? Just yeah, in just, the just, yeah, yeah, and then yeah. the little straddle. Yeah. Fair enough. Mr. Rice finds a good clearance. Yeah, you can see the touchy's touch uh, flag there. Northcote with a very nice breeze behind them at the moment. Nice to see Xavier Rice still out there having a jam. Captain in the St. Paul's uh, first 13, the likes of Francis Ledger and Adam McCarthy, Daniel Pallavi. Took in the early 30s, these boys. Yeah, and uh, St. Paul's again uh, to the fore this year, just, just recently winning the secondary schools. Up against uh, Lasalle, was it? The in, in both grades as well, and, and uh, having uh, a championship and a premiership team, having two teams from St. Paul's this year. So big ups to the coaching staff, um, Seth Fui Mono and uh, Junior Junior Murray, uh, Junior Few, I should say. Uh, very, very uh, astute coaching um, staff there and uh, the reflection of the, uh, of the players that are out there as well. No doubt there would have been plenty of scouts out there plucking our talent from our shores. Yeah, as usual. Lovely kick in behind the try line and uh, cleaned up by Monaco. Smart footy there. Nice work for Morgs. Yeah, what's, what's, the, what's our pathways like here in, in, in Tamaki and, and in wider Aotearoa Whanui, Rusty, for our kids yeah, coming out of Yeah, well, unfortunately, school. the pathways are 16s. Pretty much 14s uh, identified, 16s. By the time they're 16s, they're looking to get on a plane and go to Australia and uh, finish their high school over there and get into the junior programs over there, Jersey Flag. And, uh, yeah, it's really, it's really uh, Harold Matthews as well. Matthews, yeah. So it's just really hard for our, for our boys to have pathways here. The pathways are all over in Sydney at the moment and it's where most of our boys have been going for the last almost 20 years now. And it's a sad reflection of our, of our domestic uh, 
uh, junior programs that we have here that we're not bothering to have academies or junior development programs here that we should have as, as we have a, a huge pool over of players here. But that's slowly, slowly diminishing as we continue to export them to Australia every year. There's Northco coming uh, really close here on their right edge. Nice in and out there from Alvin Ione. Turn back on the inside to Tafiri Matea. Peremaya. Penalty count tends to be evening out. Boys just got to keep their discipline intact. Yeah, Tom, Tom Uri Nati there. No, uh, no, no shoulders tackle there. And Hiramaya. Morgs just slows it down there, showing his experience. Bring it in 10 now for the tap. Yeah, I, th I think the, much, the tackle was, wasn't too bad, but the, but the forearm on the ground was, was a bit off. All right, here they come. Here's the Tigers. Some support from one of the Kuya, singing them to the try line. Ooh. Manuka here are going to have to watch their discipline. Yep, nothing worse than getting in a Simba defence four minutes to the Huda. Yeah, well, this is that golden period just before half time. This is, this is when you want to want to get that try. North Coast Tigers in the right end of the field with the football now. He's Taylor Daniels pops it over the top to the Martin Watson winger. In for a try on the left hand edge with four minutes to go. Really important, as you say, Rusty, to score just before half time. Oh, it's that golden period uh, that, that five minutes before and five minutes after half time uh, tend, tends to be the uh, the winners of the match. So it's looking good for Northcote at this stage, and uh, obviously uh, a bit of a comeback required from Magpies in the second half. But uh, well done to the Tigers. Started off with the first try, and then looks like they're going to finish off this half with another one. Almost in the same spot as well, converting from that same side. Well, the Northcote Tigers have shown that they can capitalise. On successive yeah. penalties. Tain uh, Niho there with a lovely ball over the top for the winger. Martin Watson hugging the try line, pushing up. And then Niho just with that little pop, that little offload over the top there. And a lovely finish by Martin Watson there. Awesome to see Niho up in the Fox uh, Premiership division. He's been a kid of this club for many years, played. The bulk of his footy in the reserves, but having a taste of Fox Memorial footy, first division footy, and he's not looking out of place at all. He's doing a great job. Looks the part, definitely looks comfortable here in the Fox Memorial grade. But uh, yeah, as we as we know, this is the last round robin, and Northcote really need this win, as we as we spoke about it in, in earlier in the match. This is a, this is a, a, a win at all costs for Northcote. It's so important they get the win today. They're, um, this, they're level with Ōtara at the moment. Uh, Ōtara playing the Manurewa Marlins as we see their kick curl around. Beautifully judged with the win there. Take them out to a 10-point lead at halftime. But yeah, just as I was saying earlier, the uh, importance of this match for Northcote in particular, as we know, Monaco's already qualified for the uh, Fox Premiership. But Northcote needs to get the win today to have a chance, to have a chance of qualifying uh, up against uh, Ōtara. Ōtara in, uh, on similar points. But as Cody Walker said in the beginning of the match in this pre-match interview, that uh, all they could do was, uh, uh, as far as their maths was concerned was to try and get the win today. And uh, that's all they could do. So just yeah, you know, it's certainly on the right track. Yeah, just let you know, the section one in the standings, we've got Point Chev up top, have been undefeated for many years. Uh, Howard Hornets just below them, then the Monaco Magpies, the Mount Albert Lions, the Bay, the Scorps, the Tigers, the Marlins. And the Hibiscus Coast Raiders, I was out there last week. Hibiscus Coast Raiders had their 40th year jubilee and they really represented the mana of their jersey up against the Howard Hornets. However, that's the Huda. 10 points to nil. Half time here at Birkenhead War Memorial Park. This is round nine of the SAS Fox Memorial. What's your thoughts of the first half, Russ? Yeah, deserved leaders in the North Coast Titans. There, they've made better, uh, better use of the ball in the good ball zone, uh, and especially after being penalised uh, multiple times on their try line, they really showed some spirit and defence, and managing to repel the uh, Magpies' attack. So, a uh, deserved lead to the North Coast Tigers as they head into the changing sheds at halftime. 
All right, we're going to throw to a break here. Thank you for tuning into this live stream of the SRL, SAS ARL Fox Memorial. Proudly distributed from the stream shop here at Birkenhead War Memorial. We'll be back. Kia moto nu mai ako akini. From last night's training, do run harder, tackle with intention, make one the gaps and watch for interceptions. Keep it fair, keep it cool every section. If you're all possible, put your best in. Enjoy your day's trip, you cover your selection. This they think that you've been missing. Oh boy, go play rugby league. It's all yeah. Go, you go, are your club, come on! Back here to the Birkenhead War Memorial here for the uh, Round 9 Clash. North Coast Tigers versus Magpie, Monaco Magpies. With the North Coast Tigers leading at 10-0 at the moment. And uh, at the moment we've got our little under sixes having a run around as we go to the uh, replay of the first try. Beautiful work from Shomkol there, picking up number three for the Tigers there. James Watson, the centre, going over for the first try in the fifth minute. Lovely work. Just looking at their second, uh, first try here. This is the second, second view here. Oh, big hit there over the top. Number 11 for the Magpies there, Falau. Kevin Locke going in here, looks like he scored this try as he spin turns. Unfortunately for Kevin, that was deemed to be a, 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 a rabbit or a second movement. But uh, he's definitely had an effect on the game with the 40-20s as well as his presence uh, in the north coast sides. You see another big hit there from Tofohe. Some big hits going on there, number 13 there, Hijo John. As we look at that second try from Northcote here. Oh, rather, that's Kevin Locke coming back in on the spin. Looking for the offload. Coming back into a second row, Niho. Lovely touch there, young Hedemeyer being cleaned out by the uh, Magpie coach, Tamori Nati. Some great work from Neil. There's that pop over the top there to James Watson. Excellent work there, Martin Watson, I should say. Scoring out the second try out on the left edge. And also getting that conversion here with that tailwind curling it from right to left. And there it is, right over the black dot. And Northcote going into the halftime uh, break there with a nice 10 point lead. And deservedly so, I must say. As we go back to the young Tigers there, the baby Tigers. The Tiger Cubs. T Tiger Cubs for sure. The under, under sixes, the midgets. How cool. The bros playing the bros. 10, 20 years time, we'll see them out here ripping their topside team. Still trying to navigate themselves of which way is which. Awesome sight to see. Thank you to the North Coast Tigers for putting this on and the Fakaro behind providing a chance for the kids to shine. So a great tackle there by the uh, 13 for the uh, Tigers Cubs there. If you were the coaching staff of the Monaco Magpies, Rust, what, would, what messages would you be sharing to the boys uh, to improve on the second half? Yeah, it's obviously to get back to the game game plan that's got them here, the style of play that's got them here. 
Uh, as you said, uh, when we're up in the uh, good ball zone, they tend to have the white line fever. They get a bit too shallow. They're, uh, they're not looking for their options, and they're just chucking the ball under the arm and doing the old run it straight, bro. What, what I've seen from them earlier this year and, and, and most of the year is we see, a, we see the forwards going forward and you see the, then we see the halves looking to get it to the edges, running the, um, the front and back door plays. And also, too, running holes. They need to run holes rather than uh, the, old, the old cliche. Hit the spaces, not the faces. So the boys need to start running some holes uh, for the Monaco Magpies. Similarly to what the, uh, the um, North Coast Tigers are doing, they're getting the ball to the, to the runners in space. Yeah, well, I mean, we haven't really seen what's got them to where they are on the table uh, this afternoon, the Monaco Magpies, so I haven't, especially the first time I've seen them uh, this season, no discredit to their efforts, and they deserve to be where they are on the table. However, if they were wanting to be a, a force in this next phase of finals footy in the Fox Memorial, then they need to improve the quality of their performance. Absolutely, too, and it's also, too, when you've got expectation on you as well because they've put themselves in a position now where they're actually favoured to win this game. So it's been able to, to carry a favourites tag going into a game and then actually execute that and come off with the win. So again, uh, hey, we've still got 40 minutes to go and no doubt they'll be looking for a much better performance. Oh, as we look look at the Tiger Cubs with his little runaway try there. That's a Glenn Fisiahi put down, look at this. Oh! Ho, ho, ho. Poor kid. Oh. Bit of a bubble. And under sixes, that's a try. Yeah. The refs still give it nowadays in, in, that, in that age group. Oh, there it is, the old ponytail with number eight. And a little kutiru, I think she's out there having a jam with the yeah. tungani. Looks she's saying, see, that's how you do it. <laughs> Just saying that to the little bros. Oh, tap and run, she's into some defence. Here's Kevin Locke Jr. Down the side and cuts back on the inside, showing some gas. Oh, that 13's a good defender. Chopped down by Dylan Moses Jr. Yeah, it's his second try saving tackle. <laughs> yeah, just like his namesake there. On the Tigers, um, on the other hand, Rusty, if you were coach David Barner, uh, Dylan Moses and Cody Walker, what's yeah. your approach to this to this back half? Yeah, to build on what they've achieved in that, in that first half and obviously to, uh, try and convert uh, those opportunities into more points in the second half. You know, they're looking very dangerous once they get into good ball and uh, getting to their winger, that left wing in particular, seems to be a bit of a go-to for them. Uh, not really looking at more coming down the right, the right edge very much, so that's their favourite edge, that left edge. But with most sides, that tends to be the, the way that league, league goes as well, with uh, most people being right-handed and, and their classic uh, uh, ability to pass right to left being more favoured. The ball seems to be uh, channeled down that left edge more often. But uh, I'd look to use that right edge a bit more with Morgan um, Morgie Cook uh, trying to get his centre and winger in the second row a bit more opportunity down that edge. Certainly a proud club, the North Coast Tigers, over 100 years old. It's had some notable Kiwi representatives, Gary Freeman, Sean Hoppy. Jason Lowry, Jing Ngamu, Paul Rohihi, Paddy Tui Mavave, Tony Tui Mavave, Alex Glenn and Kevin Locke. It's also had many Auckland representatives as well, Shane Horo, Willie Poaching. Shane and Mark both played in the Kiwis too. Yep. Uh, Robert Mumui, Marty Creeker. So they're all Kiwis from this club as well. Choice. Too much. Proud mums and aunties and, and cousins watching their juniors head out. Yeah, we, we had some uh, mean battles against them uh, during my time as a player in, uh, at Carlo Park as well. We had some great, great matches against Northcote. Vaya 4 and Vasua 4. Uh, obviously, uh, the few brothers were, were synonymous with this club as well. And, uh, Brian McClennan was here at that time, so they, they had a really good side during that, uh, during that era. In the uh, late 80s, early 90s. What, what, what clubs make up the north, northern sort of district, um, this area? Is it East Coast Bays, Hibiscus Coast Raiders? Glenfield. Glenfield and the Tigers, is it? Yeah, there's, there's, they still have a, a semblance of the North Shore Club. It sort of comes in and out of the competition as well. North Shore is based out in Devonport. A lot of the Navy, Navy teams play through their club as well as uh, Glenfield. But, uh, yeah, so they were looking, they've also got a, a, a North, they're looking to put together a, a North Coat or North Shore women's team as well. So, yeah, that's uh, another one for next year. COVID sort of uh, hit that on the head this year. And I was going to be coached by young uh, Trina Tracy, but, uh, Brian Tracy and uh, the dad, Keith Tracy, who were all uh, premier players as well for Auckland, and Brian Tracy was a Kiwi as well. Well, there's only two teams that I support in life there, Rusty. That's the Warriors and whoever's playing against Australia. 
I went to Mount Smart last week, and I have to tell you, I nearly cried when the boys ran out of the tunnel. It was very special. Over a thousand days, the Warriors were away from their Tūranga Waiwai. Um, I'm not too sure if you're just uh, a hearty Warriors supporter, Russ, but um, they're coming up against the, the storm uh, and, and after this bye, uh, and that'll be a real test for them, won't it? Oh, it certainly will, and we can see if that uh, home crowd magic is going to lift them again. All the boys spoke about the wairua that they felt with that home crowd after a thousand days away. It was so special, and hopefully that uh, the magic of that, uh, of that home crowd wairua can lift them again. Well, we saw in the evening, uh, on Thursday night when the Cronulla Sharks took the storm to the sword without Munster. They looked a little bit lost, and Brandon Smith uh, reacted to some foul play, and he called the ref a cheating uh, beep, um, and he got sent off. So he's looking to face the judiciary, and he'll probably get maybe two to three weeks. So that's a good thing for the Warriors with the storm without Brandon Smith. Yeah, and Munster. So two of, two of their leading um, um, halves, and uh, to have those guys uh, missing from the side will be a huge bonus for the uh, Warriors, especially at home as well. Oh, well, kwa whakata tinana, kwa whakata a hiningaro. Kwa whai wā ngā kapa e rua ki te whakawhiti-whiti kōrero. Both teams have had a bit of a chance to have a kōrero with one another and just iron out a few creases of the first half. Yeah, and I guess we're going to see a lot in this first couple of minutes here how... How Monaco is going to play the second half and uh, how they're going to carry out the instructions from their coach and their coaching staff as they uh, start the second half. They know that they need to score first if they're to have any chance. It's, um, I think it's pretty fair to say that if Northcote get that uh, get that first try in the second half, we can uh, say kiss a goodbye for the Magpies uh, winning today. Some so standouts. Now, some standouts for me from the Magpies in this first half was Kare Kake Hola Motu. Yes. In the 17 jersey. Desmond Tufohe. I think he should have maybe stayed on for the whole half rather than getting subbed from Dana Aleni, the replacement hooker. I don't think he had a choice. He got injured. All oh, right. So he was the injury that uh, was during the stoppage. So hopefully he's, uh, he's uh, recovered and uh, back on because he was a lot more uh, very exciting at a dummy half in uh, that big break downfield. If only one of the backs had pushed up with him. Well, we're underway here at round nine of the SAS Fox Memorial. 40 minutes to go in this final fixture of this preliminary uh, round robins. Northcote Tigers with the footy now. This is Taylor Daniels, the bear. He's grown a bit of fur in the off-season. Been <laughs> hibernating that bear. Carrying a few niggles as well. Yeah, nice, uh, nice set so far from the Northcote Tigers there. The classic uh, power drive. Running at the A and B defenders and then uh, aiming back into the block hole. And then we see the uh, the centre doing that on the other side of it as well. So nice, nice go forward from the North Coast tire, tire, tire Tigers to start the uh, second half. Tikato Rusty, 100%. Awesome uh, set. Easy metres. They're already up over halfway. To the sky they go. On the left boot of Xavier Rice. Huge kick. Swirling in the wind. Play on. Play to the ref's whistle, they say. With the footy now is D Brown. Draw and flicky to our right wing. This is Corey Haku. And a minute 20 into the first, a uh, minute 10 into the first uh, second half. It's a beautiful play there from the North Coast Tigers here. The little back flick out to the wing there for that uh, center to find his winger. Perfect. Big chase on the kick there. And they always say that the kick is only as good as the chase. So a wonderful chase from the North Coast Tigers there. Started right back at kickoff though, eh, Rusty? Certainly what an did. awesome set. Some great go forward. Huge Gary Owen. Huge up and under from Xavier Rice. What happens here? An air swing. Yeah. And off the foot. Off right. the foot, yeah. Play on. And then that uh, little round the corner pass. And then D Brown. To flick onto the number five. It's Corey Haku. Going across untouched for the first try of the second half, and that was the uh, yeah, that could be the uh, nail in the coffin for the uh, Mag Magpies there with that first try in the second half, being a catalyst in most rugby league matches. Uh, they've done it there in the golden the golden period just before half time and just after. So North Coast North Coast ticking all the right boxes here to get that uh, very crucial win for them today. Well, they've got their work cut out for them, haven't they? Rusty, 14 points to nil. 
Oh, certainly an uphill battle for the Magpies now. And uh, with, this, uh, with this kick going over as well, just make it a little bit harder for them. At the moment, they, they still need, they're going to need three tries either way to get back into this match. And the way the North Coast going at the moment, it doesn't look likely for Magpies, but uh, hey, uh, don't want to speak too soon. Let me give them the benefit of the doubt and see how they go with their, with their first uh, set uh, when they do get an opportunity. Yeah, that wind's really showing its strength there. Never had a chance there, kick. So our try scorer again there, Corey Haku. Here's another look at the up and under from Xavier Rice. Kevin Locke jumping up here, missing it completely, but coming off his left foot. There we go. There it is. Ooh. And then off the uh, knock-on of the uh, Magpie fullback. Play to the uh, whistle. Yeah, and then the Beautiful nice little, offload there, eh? It was. Alvin Tuioni. The little show inside and then go around the body. Oh, oh, he did well there. Twinkling his toes on the sideline as a try scorer. Haku. Haku, yeah, nice. Nice work. Fingertip control. Oh, Magpies there with a awesome line speed from those first three defenders. Yeah, they're really going to have to pull their socks off, uh, socks up and, and, and rip into some defense to try and force an error to get their hands on the footy. Yeah, a bit sterner defence from the uh, Magpies on this set, but they're going to need a bit more of that. Tigers with the footy once again. Carried by Marcel Helisoy. Yeah, better defensive set so far from the Magpies. And stills in the Waka Ama. Oh, and then the drop ball. Sports as well, does Helisoy. Just what they needed, the Magpies? They certainly did. With position, centre field now. To the short side they go. Yeah, what we need to see is we need to see better shape from Magpies as they get into good ball now. Tafiri Matea, Here my out. With the strip. Yeah, one of the whanau from up at uh, Urake there from the old classic boot hill. With the Nati Fatua whanau. Bit of a stalwart of the Tigers of many years he's been at this club. From his uh, juniors, schoolboys, right through into the premiers. Brother has also had a jam in the party card scene. Yeah, that was that was uh, split second timing there. Unlucky, Tuffy. With the footy now, come the Magpies. This is Taunga Arama. Proving a handful this afternoon. Back on the park is Tufohe. Turning back on the inside to Tuporopurotu. Pudotu and Tereo Māori means handsome. Doesn't want to look handsome out here. He wants to show <laughs> everything and anything to get his team over the line this afternoon. Here they come. The Magpies with the, the, John, the footy, pops it back. Play to the whistle and play on. Raven Tungia for four. Tackle centre field. Really have to get some shape. Don't they, the... Uh, Monaco Magpies, they look at a, they look a bit at sixes and sevens. So I was just given a set restart in that last uh, ruck as well, so they've certainly been given a great opportunity here. EJ John feeding the football to Nutty. Nutty stepping back on the inside. <coughs> Shows huge grit and determination that this young halfback Samuel Nutty Oh. They're going on with it a bit, these boys as well. Yeah, Someone's going to the bin. It's got to be a, it's got to be a um, sim bin, that one. Hopefully there's nothing silly in this group hug. Certainly a yellow card offence, I'm, I'm thinking. Oh, yeah, that was uh, very blatant. We'll have another look at it. Both, both boys are going on with it. There's a bit of a shoulder, uh, a bit of an elbow. Yeah. Here comes... Shom call in response over the top. Yeah, but just not making no. Yeah, he just laid on him far too long there. Even as even his own teammates knew that. I think the referee's got a got a sin bitter. Yeah. I think a card will try and knock out this lack of discipline from both sides. However, we never like seeing anyone go to the bin. No, no, neither does the ref by the look of it. He's going to go back into diplomacy here. 
A very democratic guy, this, this Daniel Caddy, isn't he? Mm, very, very, very much so. Oh, well, good for the game. See everybody on the field. Hard. Good on you, Daniel Caddy. Oh, well, we've seen this many a time from the Monaco Magpies. Having the footy me just metres out of the line, but haven't been able to score. Yeah, but they need more than run it straight, bro. They've got to actually get their plays going. Running good lines, running into holes. Is this looking a bit better? Turning back on the inside is the Monaco Magpies. Oh, and the, and the coach comes run. up yep. short. Yep, Tamori Nazi. Back to the short side. Stacks on, cut inside. Great defence from the North Coast Tigers. Well, they're looking a bit better with their movement of the ball at the moment. Here's Aleni. Aleni with the footy now. Centre field, they go. Which way, left or right? Going right to Samuel Nutty. Nutty with the footy. It's the little guy running the corners line. Offload. Hand it over to the Monaco Magpies. And finally, no one else deserves this piddle more <laughs> than number 17, Kare Holamotu. Yeah, Holamotu's been getting outstanding for the Magpies so far today. And, uh, deserve it. Uh, Try to score it there for the Monaco Magpies, getting them back into this match. After um, numerous visits to the uh, good ball zone, they finally come up with the four points that they needed. Just a nice little uh, pass here out of the tackle. And the fullback with the little shift. Yeah, that was Baya Folau with the, with the offload there. Attracting the defence of, of, of Watterson, who wasn't able to hit and stick. A nice work by MacGyver Liu Chan as well. Just a nice tip on there to the centre. Holomotu, Holomotu. Fantastic game from him today. Mm -hmm. he, might, he might get the real number three jersey next week. <laughs> he's, looking, he's been looking pretty comfortable in that right centre today. Oh, well, just what the doctor ordered. A, a, a bit of a response. Back from the dominant uh, performance from the North Coast Tigers. Yeah, well, it's, uh, that's what it takes. It takes a, a four-pointer to get you back on board, get you back on track. And, uh, and a nice little uh, two-point conversion here will be very handy for them as well. Oh, well, if it was AFL, he would have got some points. <laughs> yeah. But unfortunately, that was under the crossbar. The line was good, but the length wasn't quite there. And that wind seems to have just died down a little bit in the second half. So he didn't quite have the assistance of the uh, North Coast Tigers did in the first half. But Samuel Nutty just uh, yeah, just, uh, just a tad short with that uh, sideline conversion. North Coast be looking for a nice deep kick here and then a nice strong defensive set. Obviously, Magpie's is going to try and back that try up. As you see, after you score a try, most important thing is to get to to complete your set. Well, 13 penalties to 13 penalties, but we've still got 13 players on each team, so there's been quite a a run of penalties this afternoon. However, Kateronga o te Fakaro, I'm I'm feeling the the thought of of Daniel Kelly keeping the players on the field. Yeah, inclusion. Co <laughs> Papa. Just get every gear, he tangata, he tangata. <laughs> Kuya. Aye. But uh, it's great that we've got all, both, both, both teams have all their players on the field so we can see a, a good, good fair game of footy, a fair contest. Samuel Nazi. And then I followed up with a kick. Just bounces up nicely. <clears throat> For the young winger there, Haku. Tackled on big defence from James Tonga. By a full out. Daniel Lenny. Then with the tackle there. With Martin Watson. Here's Watterson with the footy. Swung around on the washing machine and the dry cleaner. Manages <laughs> to offload to Kevin Locke. Big defence. We oui, wee oui, bonjour mon ami. Welcome back to Tamaki Makoto. Yeah, oh, I think it's a valid uh, argument from the Tigers here. The ball went back, but uh, referee's calling lost control, mm, which he certainly did on that occasion. 
didn't need to push that pass there did Rice early in the set should have just taken taken the ball up what are they what are they calling for that sort of late over the top by Aleni no just gone for the knock on from lock all right Manukau to feed here on the 20 perfect field position here for the setup for a set you know, most coaches practice practice the good ball from this position oh <laughs> bit of a left and right there from the oh, oh no oh Arama there just uh, just uh, too much of a hurry to play the ball there and then uh, losing losing control on the first carry dear oh dear oh dear says Phil Gould no 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 shows some fancy footwork does Arama just in a bit of a rush eh yeah that was poor form from Arama there you've got to stand before you place the ball there's a bit of a rookie mistake there Jasquale Xavier Rice did come home with the uh, with the fly swat and yeah. knocked it out of Arama's yeah. hands to, to give him some credit yeah but uh, yeah, that was a basic error there Lack, yeah. lacking a little bit of footy IQ I suppose tucking it under and yeah that's right get to your feet son get to your feet North Coat in reply. Here's Trent Schomp call. North Coat back on that drive again. Back onto the power drive there. There's one off the rucks coming back into the block hole. It's been working well for them in the second half, hasn't it, Rusty? Again, they could play the ball. Nice work. And then Morgs with the early kick there, Morgan Cook. Finding space. Good hands from our fullback here. It's Lou Chan. Oh, MacGyver. Haven't really seen many magic tricks from him today. No, 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 no inventions, not yet. Apart from that little tip on to um, our try scorer. Uh, Holomatu. Holomotu. 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 Yeah, he's been good today. Here's the Magpies with the footy once more. To the left side they go. Here's the William Luaki. Luaki. Onto the field. Any relation to Hami in them? Oh, he certainly has size and stature just like those boys. Yeah. Yeah, look at those, he's got the same genes. Samuel Nutty puts a little kick in for Dania Aleni. Yeah, but uh, Kevin Locke's experience there, just in the right pocket, in the right position there, cleaning it up, no worries. Ooh, and a, and a little show there. <laughs> Trying to catch the yeah, bros offside, A little eh? bit of razzle-dazzle. <laughs> but a Harlem Globetrotters there from, uh, from Nobby. Yeah. They've really lifted the intensity of their defence at yeah. the Monaco Magpies. Not square. Yeah, another, another schoolboy era, really. The guys should be a bit sharper than that. Did well here, but yeah, never squared up, standing on the side of the ruck. So Northcote there, just a little breather again. Kevin Locke, this is that, this is that experience he brings, just slowing it down there, have a little bit of a chat. Let his boys regather their, uh, their thoughts, get themselves organised. And again, that's just, that, just a bit of class and experience that Kevin Locke brings to the side and just what Northcote needed, especially on a day like today where the win is so important to the club and to the team. Yeah, Taipari Taitimu certainly comes in and tides, does the momentum of, of your typical rugby league game. The tide certainly with Northcote at the moment. That's the captain, captain coach there. Tom Woody. Oh, well. Interference in the play of the ball there, not straight, being called. As you say, Rust, some schoolboy penalties that we shouldn't really be seeing at this level of, That's of right. competition. Yeah, and uh, no doubt uh, when the Magpies look at the replay of this game, they'll, they'll be they'll be yeah, pretty upset with themselves with those areas that they've made, especially the last three. Yeah, and it'll certainly never get swept under the rug of this quite talented referee, Daniel Caddy. Yeah. Misses nothing. There we go. He missed that one. Wow. Well, <laughs> the old commentator's curse, eh? <laughs> Classic. I thought there was two in there just, just at that last phase of the tackle, however. However. 
The Magpies get uh, get another reprieve there. Let off the hook. And come back with a vengeance here. But can they get the yardage and momentum that they need to get across that try line again? And, uh, and create a real contest for us here today. It'd be very exciting if they can get the next try. Yes, it would. These Magpies do need to snatch a bit of jewellery out of someone's ear. And John just losing his footing there. He's been strong in the middle today, John. But again, it's been too much of the of the of the playing hard rather than playing smart. So far from the Magpies. Koronato John on the left hand edge there. Jacob Masui, excuse me. Anai te kai kāpe ne te kai ako hoki o te kapa. Tamore nati. Too deep. And pulled those players offside as well. What are we looking at here? The, the, the 1v1 strip? Yeah, probably the right call. Does he rip it away before the, the second man comes in? Yeah. 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 We'll give you that one, Daniel. Marginal. But correct, I think. Mm, unfortunately, Magpie is unable to convert that into points. Or, or a repeat set. Nice little in and away there from the North Coast Tigers with the football now. Rice turns it back onto the inside to Stromkall. He's really uh, his mark coming onto the field, hasn't he? Yeah, he's really straightened up that forward pack. Got them we're heading in the right direction. Kevin Locke. First game back uh, the SAS Fox Memorial flew in on Monday from flew in on Monday from France, where his team took out the Elite One competition, and then backs up on Saturday. Was back with his junior club. Got to, uh, got to love it when you see that. Hundred percent. Done well to find his boot. Backs here need to relieve their forwards. They get in for some hard yards. So we see a good carry from the Magpies. Strong run there from Koronato John. Desmond two for here with the footy. Yeah, Koronato John is just needs to get himself involved a bit more. He's a good, good ball carrier, but just been a bit missing today. Needs to get more involved and help the team out. Nazi finds Holamoto. Yeah, Holomoto, he's been, he's been the, the yardage man today for the Mag Magpies. Big yards from him today. As well as their one and only try. Jeez, their pass was just look, look, look slightly forward too, but... Oops, must have been a little bit, to me. Must someone's been a little bit ginger in back play. Ref's playing on. And gone to ground. Player welfare. This clock has stopped. We're checking on... And again, Kevin just showing his experience there, just being in exactly the right spot. Samuel Nutty there, just, just, just not kicking to space and not giving his chasers a real chance of getting, uh, getting the ball back. Just needs to kick a bit uh, with a bit more accuracy and kick to space. So we just look at this replay here. Never a pretty sight seeing a forward pass. <laughs> and just onto the field now is William Eriwata. Player welfare is paramount. A big mihi to Caddy for stopping the clock. And whenever we see people grasping at their necks or jaw, uh, we're very concerned. So let's hope William's okay. Beautiful to see the whanau out. Celebrating and cheering. Coaching from the sideline. And doing it in the sunshine today as well. After two weeks of rain, it's lovely to see the sun again. And great to see our whanau out there all enjoying the uh, beautiful uh, weather. And Tamaki Makoto today. Uh, the ball boys who get paid in hot chips and raspberry lemonade. Yeah, this big currency for a long time at the league grounds. Yeah, lots of whanau out here supporting the teams today. Beautiful day, to, beautiful day for it. You're tuning in to live stream 
of the Round 9 SAS Fox Memorial here at Birkenhead, Birkenhead War Memorial Park. It's 14 points to 4, just over 20 minutes to go. Currently the uh, North Coast team is looking at qualifying for the uh, Fox Memorial uh, Premiership. It starts next week, this is the last, last round of qualifying today. It's a bit of a highlights package of some recent tries. That was just playing to the whistle, that one there, Rusty Matua. Yes. Haku there with that first try in the first half, uh, second half. And that little flick on here from Liu John, the Holomotu. Holomotu has been the standout for uh, Magpies today. He's got to be well over 100 metres with his carries today. He's just been a workhorse for the Magpies. And rewarded with the first four-pointer for the Magpies today, and well done. As we go back, to, uh, our man's up. He's having a drink there, our injury. And there is the, the Kuti shot. Lati Kuti in the house. It's yeah. compulsory for broadcasts. Yeah. Dogs and babies. Yeah. Well done to the team. Big shout out to our camera operators, our directors. We're yeah. on a huge budget down here at uh, Burke Headwall Memorial. Calling out of the back of a, of a trailer. That's beautiful. Yeah. Free air conditioning. <laughs> Fantastic. Now oh, there it is. There's a Have shot. A wave, boys. There they are. Aiden, Tim. Oh, killed a fun, eh? Lovely. And, and we're back live here. In Northcote there with the, going into the last quarter, the last 20 minutes. Northcote with a 10-point lead. Desperate to get this victory today and give them a chance of qualifying for the uh, Fox Memorial Premiership as of next week. Thank you, Rusty. Topo with the hit up there. Double pass to lock, triple pass. Center field. Tackle three. Hit him higher. Off to Morgan, turns it back on the inside to Taupo. Second carry this set. And the offload. And the offload. Back to Morgan Cook. Sizable character is Nalu Tuingamala. He's got that Tuingamala shape about him too. <laughs> Morgs. Nice footwork close to the lines of Shomko. Here he goes. He's backing up on the inside. Kevin Locke, but Shomko chooses to go himself. Oh, he's been he's been big for the North Coast Tigers today. He's been fantastic with his carries. Again, Edemaya, the Tafiti. Oh, Losing it or grubbering it? Yeah, he looks like he fell over his own feet there, young Tafiti. Un unlucky young man. And um, Magpie's very grateful for that reprieve once more. The opportunity to bring it off their off, off their try line now and get into some uh, get, and try and complete the second to a good kick. Oh. Get off the yeah, get out of their half. Beautiful name, Tafiri Matia Here Maya, La Mata Ote Ariki Tafiri Matia, celebrating Matariki the Maori New Year uh, just recently, remembering those that have passed on and planning for the future. It's been an awesome celebration. This inaugural acknowledgement, I suppose, of such a moment. Uh, momentous occasion yeah and awesome for it to be a, a, a recognized holiday in New Zealand now a statutory holiday fantastic yeah, I just take my hat off to uh, Jacinda for making that uh, official in New Zealand and acknowledging our uh, a, a native statutory holiday for New Zealand our first I believe that's right I, and I mean it's not only the Lai Māori that acknowledge the, that rising of that particular cluster it's, it's celebrated through the Pacific through the Middle East, Japan. Um, we look down at our phones too much. We don't really celebrate what's up in the sky. And so um, it's, it's, a, it's a special time to acknowledge what a beautiful environment we, we live in and to look after it. But a beautiful 40-20 there from Magpies and good ball now. Oh. Uh, not the ideal outcome. Yeah. Harriman. Just, yeah, yeah, that's enough to call it a knock on. Yeah, again, just just a rookie mistake there, looking to where the pass was going rather than looking at what the ball you're picking up. You know, just first things first. Well, well done on the uh, on the forty twenty to the Monaco Magpies. We were celebrating Matariki too much. We're going off on a bit of a tangent. However, here's a replay of the kick here. Yeah, beautifully positioned as well. Samuel Nutty, that was a beautiful 40-20. Look at the yardage on that. It's like a 
Well done. <laughs> Perfect placement of the kick, too. Yep, if Kevin Locke can do one, I can do one better. This yeah. is nutty. In the same spot also. With the footy of the North Coast Tigers. Yeah, Tui Gamala again there. Taupo. Putting his hand up. Rather than hand out like some other clubs. Yeah, I love, I love that court at him. Sean Cole with the footy now. Simple one-out stuff at the moment with the North Coast Tigers. Up yeah, by 10 points with 16 to go. It's been effective in the second half especially. They've been strong around the ruck. With some nice lateral movement there with some nice shifting out to the left edge. Again, their left edge has been their strong edge today with, um, with uh, two of their three tries being scored on the left edge today. Shamkul again. Carry after carry. Multiple carries from today. He's been... Uh, yeah, the, the real leader for the North Coast uh, forward pack today. Kevin Locke, the danger man. Yeah. Hey. What's he calling here? Closing the gap. Trip, trip. Leg, bit of a leg trip. Yep. Taking it to the line, carrying it in two hands. Oh, definite leg trip, yeah. And that's, uh, that's, that's close to being penalised there too. I think he's, uh, we we're very lucky, both sides here, with uh, numerous penalties from both sides. Today's match with Daniel Caddy's uh, been very dipl diplomatic today, wanting to keep um, both, both, uh, both sides on the field today, 13 aside. And again, uh, Kevin just taking his time with this penalty kick, finding touch. Squeezes out another 20 metre gain. Just uh, been very, very uh, methodical with his game today, very... Very, very uh, measured. And I guess uh, just adding that calm and that composure to the North Coast Tigers today. And obviously it's something they've needed. As you can see by them uh, leading a more fancy at Manukau Magpies throughout the match from the start today. Sean Cole just losing the footy. He won't be happy with that. He's had a, an outstanding game this afternoon. Yeah, probably the first era I can remember from him. Going on with it is Samuel Nutty. Trent Chomkel's not scared of anyone. You wouldn't if you were seven foot tall. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I thought he was he was really lucky to be left on after after holding down that player on the try line as well. But uh, just I think uh, just a little bit of sour grapes from losing the ball there earlier. A bit frustrated there again. Uh, uh, no fault by it, but his own as well. So, yeah, there's nutty going on with it with Xavier Rice. And then about 3v1. <laughs> yeah, and Shumko is still going forward. <laughs> hey, it's still anyone's game, Rusty. Oh, in the go. Oh, it's still yeah, it's still still uh, still uh, anybody's game Seven. at this stage. But Monaco not doing themselves any uh, any favors at the moment. They really need to get back to the shape that's got them to where they are so far in the competition. And that's them being composed, getting their forwards to go forward, and then letting the letting those halves, especially Samuel Nutty, uh, unlock those centers and those and the fullback coming into the line. We just haven't seen enough of that from Magpies today. Yeah, here's Mr. Caddy having a word to both captains saying. Be good to your mother, do your homework, and don't forget where the tea towel is. <laughs> Simple values, boys. Penalty given to the North, uh, to the Monaco Magpies. Excuse me. Great touch finder there from Samuel Nutty. Yeah, just using the conditions there, that, um, that wind blowing cross field, that tailwind. And just using that uh, to his advantage there. Kicking it from the left-hand side of the field to the right-hand sideline. Oh, from the right to the left, I should say. Christian Harriman does well carrying on the footy there. Did well to hang the footy. On to the ball, yeah, yeah, for sure. Taupo was, was working him. Yeah, oh. North Coast Tigers just need to be careful here. It's getting a bit messy in the, in the tackle there. Yeah, we've been calling it all game, haven't we? Someone's going to the bin. <laughs> yeah. But uh, Daniel, Daniel Caddy's not in a sin bin mood today. He's about inclusion today. 13 on 13. Here's MacGyver Luchan. Let's see if he could pull a rabbit out of the hat for the Monaco, Monaco Magpies. Just over 30 minutes ago. Turn back on the inside to Bayer. Folau. Folau pops the ball up. 
Nice quick shift of hands. Does the ball go backwards? No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. And Monaco again miss up another opportunity inside. Good ball. I guess it's also quite hard too with um, both team, uh, teams being predominantly black. When you're in that sea of bodies, it can be quite confusing there. You're trying to get your get your target. And even if you're on the opposite team, you still call for the ball, don't you? Don't you, Rust? That's right. Oh, classic. <laughs> Absolutely, and uh, Monaco's uh, uh, uniform doesn't help by having uh, yellow numbers as well. <laughs> yeah. So, they might have to look at that for, um, if they go into the Fox Premiership, then they might have to have a reverse set. And uh, I remember Monaco used to have a white set back in the day as well. I will feel sorry for the laundromat and the, uh, and the nannies. <laughs> yeah. Good defence there from the Monaco Magpies, Desmond Tufoye. Even though he's small in stature, he's got a big, big heart. heart. Here they come. Ooh, really the, feel the E. Yeah, the crowd's picking up the uh, magpies now, giving them some uh, well-needed support at this stage. They need a, a lot more support to try and get that next try, get themselves back into this match. As the, t as the clock ticks down, it always seems to tick a bit faster when you're behind. <laughs> Yeah, it becomes to be your worst enemy. Be smart just to find the touchline. As uh, as Kevin Locke duly obliges there, but doesn't doesn't find the touchline on that occasion. The winger dropped back early and uh, anticipated that really well, positioned himself accordingly. Yep, taken well there by Coronato John. McIver, centre field, good tackle. Hit him mild. Comes the coach captain, Nati. Oh, it does well to oh, cradle his baby on his back. Yeah, Holomotu again. Another another good carry from him. Easily the uh, the standout player today for the uh, Magpies. As Nati gets that kick yeah. into the right-hand corner. Big chase. Oh! Take it out without the footy, what do you reckon? Yeah, wow, well, that was a tough one there, Jacob Masoy. Looks like he just overran the ball. Good kick from Samuel Nutty. Certainly was checked up beautifully in that right corner. Yeah, as you said, good uh, kick's just as good as its chase, and it was an effective chase, but the, the bounce of the footy, you can't read. It just takes a bit of a jive to the right-hand side. Yeah, just, just turned to the right. They're almost half volleys himself. Oh, yeah, the, uh, yeah, unlucky there, uh, Monaco. Just done by the bounce of the ball there. But uh, well executed play, though. Good kick from Samuel Nutt on that occasion as Monaco get the ball back there with that little knock on from Hedemeyer. And Monaco looking to get that next try. Harriman with the footy. What's the call from Daniel Keddy? Knock on. A loose carry. Loose carry. Jeez, play two, play hinger. Oh, Monaco, their own worst enemy there, just needed to hold the ball. Simple settle. What's going on here? Yep. Yep, just a clean drop. Johnny on the spot, Daniel Kenny. Yeah, he's in great field position there, but the Monaco man looked like he looked like he was actually trying to free his free his arm up for an offload. And in that position there, he just needed to tuck it under his arm and find the ground, get a quick play of the ball. And instead, he gives position back to the Tigers. The Tigers gladly accept with just under 10 minutes to go. Oh, there's a few smiles in the Tiger pack too. They look happy. I think they're just happy for a bit of a rest, Rusty. They've been <laughs> full on for the past uh, yeah, the 30 th minutes. Had three sets back to back to back on defense, so they uh, do with a the, uh, the little bit of a rest. Yeah, good carry. So like you said, the, the, the perks or the, the gratefulness of having the cool head of Kevin Locke on the field, just knowing how to manage the game. Yeah, and just being that, that calming influence that the side needs, especially when the pressure's on and things can be to get a bit hectic in the middle of the field there. And he's just walked in there and calmed it down, taking his time, just giving the boys the direction that they need and their composure just to get their form back. Really been impressed with Nalu Tuingamala. He's been, been very intimidating. 
Oh, on attack and defense. Yeah, he's been very good since he's, uh, since he's come on. That could have been another try there. Young Samuel Nutty. Oh, would have be, been a way if yeah, if he just pop up, it up, up eh? yeah, yeah. But defuse another try there, another attacking Floyd down there, and it's uh, an an area that Northcote hasn't gone to since that first half. There, they haven't really gone back to the left edge which was very successful for them in the first half. Here's the unit, once again, the battering ram, Trent Shomkul. Waterson with the footy, getting his hands dirty. Tafiri Matia feeds it off to Tuingamala. Tuingamala to Rice. Rice over the top to Taylor Daniels. And Turn it back off the side to Morgan Cook. Morgan Cook down the right-hand edge. And in the corner, the North Coast Tigers go. Yeah, and he knows what that try means as well. That looks like that's the uh, victory there for the North Coast Tigers here at their home ground and, and needing that big W today to give them a chance of getting to the Fox Championship Premiership next week. Very, very happy Tigers there with Morgan Cook scoring that try on the right edge. Yeah, well, the Monaco Magpies getting caught out and just trying to stay in the fight, you know, worrying about the ref's calls rather than eyes up footy. Great uh, display of hands here. Taylor Daniels with the footy. This is the offload here. Beautiful offload from Daniels. And then the number six wrapping around there. Beautiful work. Morgie Cook showing his experience. Good halves always backing up. Yep. Point to the stalwarts up on the up on the deck having a couple of coldies and a fist pump to ram it home. Yeah, and that'll just about be it for the North Coast Tigers there. Let's put it back out to another three, three try margin. And if they get this kick over, it'll just uh, bring it home. Going to be a tough kick, though. It's going right into the teeth of the wind there on that angle. Yeah, we saw how strong the wind was the last conversion in a similar place, didn't we? Yeah, it's actually blowing right into his face on that angle and right in line with that um, from the post right, right back to the football. So it's going to be an amazing kick if he can get this. He's got to get a nice low trajectory on that. Morgan Cook there, deserve a try. He's worked hard all game. And just uh, showing that uh, classic trait of a good half there, of always supporting the ball. What I've enjoyed of this year's format, Rusty, it's been awesome to see the amalgamation of the Feeling Shield, the Shaman Cup, the Fox Memorial teams, all having a shot at one another. The likes of Papatoya that you very rarely see, the Ponza B Ponies, the Pakuranga Jaguars. Absolutely, it's just so great for those guys to have an opportunity to mix it with the big guns. And uh, obviously it's the end of the round robin and they'll, they'll go back to their grades as of next week. But just to have the opportunity was so good for them and their clubs. And uh, just gives them a taste of what it's like, what that's and what the standard is as well. So well done, uh, in my opinion, for the ARL for, for the format, I really like it. And, I just, and, and, and again, it's about inclusion. And, uh, you know, obviously now we've sorted out. It's a real good uh, uh, nine weeks. is a great time to sort out who's the best teams in Auckland. And I'm uh, looking forward to a really exciting Fox Memorial Premiership. Underway once again, just under five minutes to go here at Birkenhead War Memorial. The home team with their tails up. Yeah, and uh, well-deserved tails as well. They've really earned their uh, W today. As we get uh, down uh, inside the last five minutes. They've really done the work today, and oh. Might be a slight bit of concussion there, I think he. Yeah, it looked like he got concussed. Yeah, he's, he was out for a little bit there and just bobbled the ball there. D. Brown. Yeah, the man over the top there, I think. Oh, it looks like he got it. looks like he's got an army. Copped the form in the face there from the, uh, the, the, the captain, captain. <laughs> coach. Hey. Yeah, touches in there as well. Yeah, it looks like he got a forearm to the face there, just quietly. Yep. Down the man's just asking what day well, of the week it is. He seems fine now. Yeah. Yep. Doing Pettis. the doctor's ABC. Yeah. Fox Memorial HIA. 
referee seems happy. He's just going to have a word to the touchy. Was that foul play? Yeah, that was hit high. They breathe them hard in Beach Haven. Yeah, Beach Haven hardy. Eh? Bit of claret, but he'll be tapping the ball and going again, I'm thinking. Yeah, he looks like he's up for it with D Brown. What a kick. Great kick. Marching them down the field. Yeah, just uh, again, that influence from uh, Locke. Just been superlative for the uh, North Coast Tigers today. Morgs turns it back on the inside to Shomko. Short side they go. Here's D Brown with the footy once more. Clean copybook tackle there. No magic offload from him on that occasion. I think he's still finding his feet. Rice. Taylor Daniels. Oh, ho, ho. Not the greatest ball there from from Xavier Rice. Excuse me. Tay Neho with the footy there. Yeah, just not the best pass there down at the ankles. Oh, no, no. It was just more around the knees, but still. Yeah, should have taken that. Yeah, wind's not helping either. But uh, Monaco, with uh, just over three minutes to go here, have an opportunity to go down the field. <clears throat> hey, it's sometimes helpful to get a loss towards the sort of back. He, the the Monaco Magpies are safe, right, Russ? And yeah, just to get a, yeah, uh, get a loss yeah, they're through. Yeah, and yeah. remind them that they aren't, that they aren't at where they need to be. Yeah. Um, does it help sometimes when you're in a bit of form to... Well, they say that uh, it's only a loss if you don't learn. You know, and today's going to be a big learning for the boys, especially after the euphoria of beating Mount Albert at Mount Albert last week and, you know, being the underdogs and coming away with the win, you know, and then being brought back down to earth today is a, is a good reminder going into the, uh, to, to the premiership about uh, the importance of the basics, about the importance of playing as a team. So uh, full credit to the uh, Tigers today going away with the win and uh, a well-deserved victory for uh, Cody Walker and the boys today and their... Uh, their coach David Barner at home, uh, a well, a well earned win for the Tigers today. Full time here for the round nine SAS Sox, uh, Fox Memorial Clash. The home team, the North Coast Tigers, coming away victors, 18 points to four. A very dominant win this afternoon. Coming up against a, a quite a, a dark horse team in the Monaco Magpies, Rusty. Yeah, certainly, uh, certainly are a dark horse side, and they and they will be going into the uh, Fox uh, Premiership again. But still, uh, it's, 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 a, it's a success story that, uh, that they're here and they're, they're competing at this level. And uh, we wish them all the best for next week. Well, it's been, pleased with, it's been pleasing to have you join us in coverage of the Round 9 SAS Fox Memorial. We'll be going to a break and after that we'll be hearing from both captains. Stay tuned. From last night's training, dude run harder, tackle with intention, mate run the gaps and watch for interceptions, keep it fair, keep your cool every section, if you're all past the ball, put your best in, enjoy your day's trip, you cover your selection, this the thing that you've been missing, oh boy, don't play rugby, it's all yeah, go, you go, are your club, come on! We welcome back. Full time score 18 4 to the home side, the North Coast Tigers. Sideline at the moment is Rusty Mutter with Captain Taylor Daniels. 
here with the captain of the North Coast Tigers there. Awesome win today for the boys. What does that mean for the club? Um, massive, bro. Um, you know, not really where we are on the table, but just good for the spirits, good for our supporters to get a win, uh, especially at home for our last regular game of the season. Um, especially to put, a, put a win on like that. Um, D was awesome. And, um, yeah, got a few points off the back of it. So, yeah, no, just proud of the boys today. Yeah. Kevin Locke back in the side today. How, what did his influence have in his inclusion? Oh, just experience, bro. Um, you know, he's done it all. Um, having someone like him come back, uh, come back this week for us and, um, you know, just giving us giving us everything he has and just directing us around the park, bro. Um, can't ask for much more. Just waiting for the results from the all game today. How do you think you guys went? Oh, um, yeah, like I said, I'm not too worried about the results. If they fall in our favour, they fall in our favour. But, um, you know, all we, all we were focused on today was getting the win and getting a good win. Um, to finish off our season. Congratulations on a good one today, bro. Cheers, bro. Thank you. Cheers. Some words there from Taylor Daniels, uh, the captain for the North Coast Tigers. Here to court it all with us this afternoon is the Finn captain for the Monaco Rovers. This is Samuel Nutty. We'll throw to Rusty and then now. Here with Joe from Monaco. Joe, did not the result you wanted today, but what can the boys take from today's match? Uh, we've got a lot to take from this game, especially with a good team like Northcote. It's our first time playing here. Uh, we're just grateful to play against a good side like Northcote. Uh, we're just grateful to be here. You had a big win against Mount Albert last week. What was it like coming in today's, today's match? What does that mean going forward into the Fox? Uh, it's a big learning curve for us, especially coming from a big win last week against Mount Albert, another team we haven't played before. Uh, we're just happy to be where we are now, new scenery for our team, uh, we're just grateful. Um, like, we, like I said, we're just grateful to be where we are right now. Uh, a lot to learn, is there's always something to learn. If you're not learning, then you're not going to get better. Yeah, well, congratulations to you and the boys for making it into the Fox and wish you all the best for next week. Uh, thank you. I'd uh, just like to thank um, our Lord and Saviour for missing us throughout this day. Uh, glad no injuries today. Uh, Good luck to Nokko and the rest of their season, and as well as the rest of uh, the teams. Um, thank you. Up the Black Hammer. Yeah. Thanks, John. Yeah, cool. Kind words there from the captain of the Monaco Magpies, or the film captain. A really uh, dark horse squad. They've been together the bulk of them since 2017 when they won the under-20s competition, then going on to win the uh, Feeling Shield. Here's a look at some of the second-half tries where the Monaco Magpies got caught napping a little bit, that weren't playing to the, the whistle, and, and Kevin Locke there stamping his mark once again, getting his foot to the footy. Smooth offload, D Brown with the footy, and flicks it onto his right wing. Try there by Corey Haku, a local junior, born and bred North Coast Tiger. Here's a response from the Monaco Magpies, Bayer with the footy, Holamotu, one of the standouts, Rusty, in the Monaco Magpies team this afternoon. Uh, he's easily my, my uh, Magpies player of the day today. Brilliant game from him today. Awesome uh, awesome yardage and great carries and uh, a, a well-deserved try. <laughs> Taylor Daniels Taylor with that Daniels. Off, offload to Morgan Cook for the last try of the match. And the veteran goes over and gives the fist punt on the pointed fingers up to the top of the so, uh, top of the stands there. Thanking his supporters and acknowledging them. 18-4, what a great victory for the uh, North Coast Tigers at uh, uh, their home ground today, Beaconhead War Memorial. I just have to quickly apologise to the Daniels Fano because we've got num jersey number 16 is D Brown here, but actually it's the Bear. It's the Bear himself. The Bear himself playing tricks on us. Well, it's full time here, 18 points to 4, Birkenhead War Memorial Park. It's been a pleasure to provide you coverage of Grassroots Rugby League here. Tune in for the remainder of the season. Here's our dogs. Here's our footy. What an afternoon. Thanks for your company. Matewa. Matewa.